They always talk about history, of adventures so enticing for newcomers, stories about the origin of life and Genesis. How much of that is true, I simply do not know. But based on my own observations, I can only assume that they don't tell the whole story. It was years back when we came upon the strangest discovery of all during one of our excavations. Something we had not found in our archaeological projects until then. A complete fossil of a peculiar species. The classified compound of its bone baffled us. Until that day, nobody thought that a creature could exist, let alone survive in nature with a non-metallic endoskeleton. But no one was ready to face the truth when we first reported the discovery of the fossil. For reasons never disclosed to us, the state did not let it become public information and instead eliminated all our findings. Their reasoning? We should always look to the future in our progressive endeavors and never waste any time processing this sort of data. This whole debacle made me dubious of everything. I kept thinking about the many more groups that had been silenced just like us, never allowed to reveal the discoveries. What would cause the state to be so sensitive towards this information becoming public knowledge? I never joined any archaeological team after that and looked for the answer on my own. For years, all I did was digging up information sources stored in ancient databases, sources like hard drives, optical disks, unearthed that dated back to thousands of years. Eventually, everything was becoming clear to me. All evolution-based theories presented till then would be debunked one by one. All of them lost sense in my view. I was reaching the origin of life. Only difference, there was no sign of genetic mutations, nor myths this time. Other beings existed before us. They lived like us and struggled to survive. As my observations and results amounted to something, I presented them in a paper, sharing my findings with the world. My paper would claim, we are not an organic species. Millions of years ago, before we came to be, other intelligent beings lived on Earth, and it was their advancements that paved the way for the creation of our species. We are a species born in their laboratories. When the theory was published, the whole world rose against me. I can say with certainty that there was no scientist nor research group capable of refuting my theory, and no journal capable of refusing to label me a superstitious fool. And yet, it all made me double my efforts this time. Fortunately, I still had a piece of that Clacoris fossil. Now, it was time for a biological experiment. It has been years since those days, and now I am going to prove to all those who called me insane that none of my claims were of superstitious nature. We have always searched for the meaning of life, but perhaps it is our creators themselves who hold an answer to our questions. We shall wait and see. <laughs>